Today we're going to be doing a breakdown of this fire anomaly that was made with Illusion, Embergen, and Unreal Engine 5. So the first thing is creating a sphere inside of Illusion, and then spawning that sphere inside of Unreal with the Niagara particle system. Then to create the fire textures for the center, we're going to use a channel packed noise map that you see here. There's the shader for that channel packed noise map, and this creates the center fire that we'll see right here. This right here is the distortion normal map that we're going to use for this distortion shader. And then you can see it here applied to a sphere that's slightly larger than the previous sphere that we used for the fire. Now we're creating the scorch marks and glowing cracks for the decal that's going to be placed on the ground. We also have a smoke puff that we're going to use later in a different particle system. We're going to channel pack that into one singular texture to save on memory. Then here we're going to use those textures in this decal material. Now you can see the decal is applied to the ground with this particular particle system. Next, we're going to be creating a spark texture that we're going to use for creating sparks that emit from this decal, or at least in the same general area. Let's go ahead and add a little point light to go ahead and ground it with the scene a little bit better. And this right here is the material for the smoke particles that I just mentioned, and this is the particle system for smoke. Now, to make fire come out of the ground, we're going to do a couple of Embergen simulations. One is for a rolling fire, and this one right here is for the flat ground plane uh, particles. Now you can see the rolling flames that roll with the wind. And now we have ground aligned particles that are rotating. Next, we're gonna create rock and grass debris with Illusion again. And here's the texture for the rock. And here's the rock particles. Let's go ahead and add in some grass particles as well. So next up, we're going to create a wind swoosh mesh, and we're going to make sure to bake vertex colors so that we have better material blending. This is the material for the wind swoosh mesh. And now we're going to go ahead and enable it since it is in the world outliner. And this is the final effect. Also note that we have a Fresnel that's in this particular shader so that the edges uh, from the camera blend really well with the world. And this is just a quick overview of the Niagara particle system. Hopefully this can give you insight into how easy it is to use Illusion in conjunction with any game engine. I was able to make something truly awesome.